Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the face generator to generate unlimited human faces and turn all these picture to become the 3D avatar and send it to your Unreal Engine game project to make the avatar become your main avatar or game NPC. All right, so start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how to perform all this. First, you can just go to this tool link. You can scroll down, go to my video descriptions. I already put the put the link there. Download 2.6 million of faces from there, from here. Okay, this one. I copy and just go into this site and have a look. You no need to sign in but you must make sure you have the internet. All right, enter. Now you can see you have unlimited pictures here. At the variables here, you can just select uh, you, you, you must have the natural face or beautified face. The background color, you no need to select. The head pose, you just choose the front facing. And the gender, it can be any gender. Just apply first. Now, any of the human here, you can always show more. Here, you can just filter it out what type of avatar that you want. For example, now if you want to choose this picture, let me choose one. For example, I want to choose this, this man. I right click, save the image as, and I, I will save on my desktop. Save. All right, this is the first link. You can see once I save on my desktop, then I already get that picture. It is at here. This is this is a JPG image. All right. So next, we try the second link here. This is to generate a new face at here. You go to the link here. Enter. So here it allows you to generate new face. I can select male. For example, I select male, update the face. And here the head pose, select the center. We don't want it to look at the side. Next, the edge. I want to select a young edge. Emotion must be neutral. Just update, update it. All right, now, the skin tone, you can choose skin color as well. If you want to have a dark skin, it's OK. If you want to have white skin, it's OK. It is up to you. So for this time, I, I will choose dark skin. And the hair color, you can choose the hair color as well. Let's say if I choose the red hair, it will give you the red hair. The hair color, you can choose white hair as well. Black hair. It also depends on, on the ethnicity. I choose black hair for this time. If I want hair loss, I can update it as well to make this avatar to have hair loss. So for, the, for this time, I want to have, have the hair. Glasses, I would just prefer no glasses. The makeup, no need. I update the face. And now I right click and save the image on my desktop. Now, this is the these are the, the pictures that you can get. And now how to turn it to become, become the 3D avatar. 
what you need to do is get the character creator 3.4 and the first thing what you need to do is click the modify load the neutral base replace all click OK this is the first step all right now this is the neutral face this is the neutral body as well next Open the headshot plugin. This is the, the plugin that's compulsory to have in the character creator tree. And you must make sure you have the headshot plugin. Scroll down, go to the video description to get all this software like character creator tree, CC tree. Here you select auto. Once you selected the auto, now you, what you need to do is just drag in. For example, I want to generate this 3D avatar. I drag in, and both both I select the first one, skin type, no mask, no mask. The body type is the current. Then I click generate. Once I click generate, I have to wait for about one minute to let it finish. Now it's done already. Once it's done already, it will immediately show you the avatar. Now you can see this is your avatar. So now what can you do? You want to send it to Unreal Engine. You can just add a few clothes for him. I will just give him some shirts. Give him a shirt. And I will give him a pants as well. A zin. All right, next. I will give him a shoes. Okay, besides that, you also can, can modify the body shape from here. You click here. Modify the body shape. You scroll up, go to the full body. You can have, you can have the base male, base female, or this neutral male to make the body to be bigger. Base male. All right, now, look like a man already. In order to send it to your Unreal Engine, you must send it to iClone first. You click here, send to iClone. And wait in the iClone until it finished loaded the whole avatar into iClone 7. All right, at here, you must make sure that you already installed the iClone Unreal Live link. At the same time, in your Unreal Engine project, you must make sure you, you already installed the iClone Unreal Live link plugin at there already. If you still don't know how to install and set up the iClone Unreal Live link, that you can just go to the video description. I already published a tutorial at there. You can click into this video link and learn how to download and set up the iClone Unreal Live link. All right, now, just have a look. In your iClone, once you already finished set up the iClone Unreal Live link, you open your iClone Unreal Live link and untick everything. Once you untick everything already, next, it is under, under the avatar. Go, go to the scenes and under the avatar, you rename, rename this avatar. Here, you, you press F2 to rename it. And this is, for example, Wakanda, Wakandan male, zero, four. For example, if you want to make a, a Wakanda game, so, etc. I put this as zero one, so sorry. Wakanda male, zero one, enter. Next, you go back to the icon and real life link here. You only take the avatar Wakanda, Wakanda male zero once. 
then you click transfer file and wait for this time you have to wait until it finished transfer the whole avatar to your Unreal Engine game project you need to wait for a while once it finished transfer from the iClone to Unreal Engine through the live link you just need to wait for a while and at this moment do not do anything in your Unreal Engine just wait alright once it finished transfer you will see that it is already at here it automatically appear and open this folder it is under content resolution contents Wakanda mail 01 what you want is the skeletal mesh click it now it transfer and put in the level already just delete from here so now next step we want to make this make this avatar the Wakanda mail 01 as the main avatar or make him to be the NPC in your game so what you are going to do is click the content open the mannequin folder character mesh double click the UE4 mannequin skeleton what you want to do is click the retarget manager and make sure that select rig you select the humanoid rig at here then you click save and now you can close next back to the mannequin folder enter enter the animations you can see a third person animation blueprint what you need to do is just right click it retarget and duplicate animation blueprint and retarget and here what you need to choose is the Wakanda male 01 skeleton is that here click retarget after retarget it it will automatically come back to the content folder all of this retargeted animation are here so now you, you go into your Revolution content folder go into the Wakanda mail 01 open a new folder here right click here new folder you name this folder as animations enter double click into the animation so now the animation folder is open you back to the resolution sorry you back to the content folder this is the navigation plane you just need to open that and make sure that it is already at there Wakanda mail 01 animation folder we are going to move all of these animations into you click the first one hold the shift click the last one you drag into the animation folder and move here enter the animation folder this is under resolution contents Wakanda mail 01 animations the first one third person animation blueprint you press F2 to rename it by adding an underscore behind Wakandan mail 01 this is the animation blueprint next go back to the content folder and enter the third person blueprint folder under the blueprint you can see a third person character right click it and duplicate it rename it by adding an underscore Wakandan mail 01 enter it is at here now double click it click the mesh click the viewport the skeleton mesh you choose the Wakandan mail 01 at here and the animation class you choose the third person animation blueprint Wakanda mail 01 now this animation is ready for you to be the main avatar what you need to do is click compile click save and close next it's your time to switch the main avatar by default you can see the mana queen the mana queen is in your default folder you can just click it and press delete to delete it first 
Next, at the edit here, you go to the project setting. Go to maps and modes here. The default pawn class, selected game modes, default pawn class, change it to become the, per, the third person character Wakanda Mail 01. It will automatic save, and now you can close it. Now, you try to play the game. Actually, the main avatar already become this Wakanda main. Just have a look. This avatar can jump, can walk. It have, it already replaced the main avatar. You also can make this guy to become the NPC. What you need to do is just drag, drag it out. The third person character Wakanda mail. Zero one, you can just drag in and press press E and rotate to a certain direction. Now you try to play. You can see in this game, you already increase an NPC avatar that you, you already put it at here. All right, that's all. Now this, this man already from just a picture just now. It is just a picture from the face generator to become a 3D avatar, and finally, it, it already become one of the main avatar or NPC in your Unreal Engine game project. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful through your 3D animations, 3D modeling, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all, so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.